puts you back in the seat. So LT5 10L90, and it's our ride line. So independent rear, longer stroke, smooth valve Fox shocks, ABS brakes on it, GM carbon ceramic, big six piston brakes. It's just kind of the total package out back. Because the customer intends to crank up the horsepower on this, at some point he'll be making somewhere in the ballpark of 900. We upgraded everything in the IRS which gives you basically our high horsepower package. So out back, you've got the steel housing opposed to our standard aluminum housing, 33 spline SKF outers, high horsepower chromoly CVs, everything out back, absolutely overkill. So yeah, S-Track then? S-Track diff, and this will ultimately make its way onto the drag strip. We've got some drag radials for it, and the ride quality on this thing's fairly mind-blowing. And we build a lot of stuff. And I like that. I usually say that on like everyone. This one, this, this, this one's this fucking one nice good. One. Yeah. The shifting's just unreal on this. That's the first thing I was noticing a minute ago. It's just so smooth. You don't feel the shifts. I mean, what I notice, anytime you just dip in the throttle, I mean, it just, it's always exactly where you want it. Yeah, usually in an auto, you go to step on it, yeah. and you know you have to yeah. prepare yourself for that thing to downshift. It's like anywhere you roll into the throttle, this thing's always right there. What, uh, with that 10 speed, what kind of cruising speed and RPMs were you at? Dude, at 90 miles an hour, you're about 1,900 RPMs. Yeah, that was on track, obviously. On a track, yeah, right. on a closed course. Closed course. Putting the additional stroke length in it and getting a softer spring package, softer, longer spring package, is really where we see the most benefit. In conjunction with that, you know, different bushings all around, it's a fabricated control arm, so a little more stout control arm. The bushings reduce any of the NVH, they allow the suspension to stay super free flowing, resistance free through its travel, so we're relying solely on the shock valving. You're not fighting to overcome bushing restriction. resistance or stiction or anything like that. I'll tell you too, I had a chance to leave from one stoplight last night. The combination of that independent rear with the way those shocks are valved, just watch the way that this thing hooks. hooks. I mean, 750 horsepower, ordinarily that would just, you'd chase this thing all the way down the road. This thing, you roll into the throttle and then stand on it, it's like a damn rocket ship. Wait, you're not planning on getting on it right here, are you? <laughs> Maybe just a little bit. Oh. <laughs> you, you strapped in? Yeah, I'm strapped in. I'm good. Maybe. And it just yeah. digs in and hooks. How could you keep yourself from not doing that all the time? Yeah, I would just do that probably forever. I mean, ultimately, the launching characteristics and the way it puts the power down is all built into the anti-squat on that IRS. So it's the pitch of the upper and lower control arms and where that instant center intersects the center of gravity on the chassis. And it just works so well. Everything is just spot on with this. The converter, too. What's you crazy? You feel like it's pushing through the brakes. As hot as it is outside, and this is a, you know, hot rod and I'm actually fixing to you like turn the air down just a little bit it's starting to get a little cool it's kind of nice it's crazy so this is a little difficult it's boring when it's just like so perfect it just yeah. does all the things you can't be like 
pull like like right here, like you can get it kind of sideways, and then like it, there's, it, it just does everything. It just behaves like very civilized, like that. Right. I'm watching the truck in front of us that just got rattled by that it bump, and this pops. thing just right over it. But man, for I think this thing weighed in at like 4,200 pounds, and with those SV shocks, which are you know really focuses the ride quality. I don't think you sacrifice the slightest bit of cornering performance in this. It's, it's a better handling truck than I am a driver. It's amazing how much bigger this feels than your typical C10. Yeah, I notice it. I notice it here. Those gauges are kick ass too, though. Oh, yeah. Yeah, and you, everything. And you can read everything that the truck's doing, yeah. like. The second you glance, glance down. Right? Yeah, it's got the old Bluetooth hookup. Bluetooth and cup holders. And check this out. This could be the coolest thing on the truck right here. You ready for this? Spring loaded billet <laughs> phone holder. Exclusively by the Road Sweet Shop. Coming soon to Instagram. You could probably just prop it up here as smooth as this rides and your phone's not going anywhere, but that's really generally cool you're like idea. stuffing your phone in every little orifice in right. the old cars trying to find somewhere to stash it. That's really cool. And the brakes, that's something that always, people are always so skeptical about the carbon ceramic brake. You hear like, you know, they fade gotta backwards. Get you gotta, these brakes are awesome. Just yeah. right out of the gate. Insane. This thing will put you through the back window and, and the front window. <laughs> this is just a huge tip of the hat to GM though. I mean, the LT5 crate motor with that 10 speed. It's just bliss, man. I mean, and then working with John Spears at Spear Tech, I mean, he put together that harness to control all that, which is just awesome. Yeah, making that 10 speed in the LT5, I mean, I tell you, I wasn't a huge LT fan for the last couple of years. Yeah. But this is, uh, this is, feels like it might change my mind. Right there, that's, that's the equalizer, that's, dude. Like it's nothing. That's, yeah. That's the speed bump that disrupts virtually every vehicle. Yeah, this lowered, you know, custom modified old truck just rolls across that like it's nothing. Oh, the ride height on this, I think, really works in its favor. Being that it's not your typical, like, slam, slam C10, it's still, it, it ends up being a super functional truck and keeping that little bit higher semi factory ride height just lets you put all that stroke in the suspension and you, you've got to worry about nothing like you know ingress egress of parking lots I mean I went through some gas stations and things where ordinarily you know you'd pull in and hit the brakes and you'd be backing up into traffic this to see this takes you it just no problem. right up and over it there's just no ground clearance issues it's truly the ultimate cruiser I would say I'll let you experience some of this goodness for yourself Maybe you're gonna dig this thing see what this baby's all about. Let her rip. <laughs> wow. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. And then it just instantly returns to being like yeah, the most civilized thing you've ever driven. So now that we've done virtually everything with this truck and proven that it's awesome at all, I think we need to go pick up some lumber. Some lumber or some mulch. The only thing we haven't done is haul something. We could get some, uh, some plywood and get a couple hundred bucks on you. <laughs> I don't think we could afford it. That's a legitimate like neck breaker right there. Yeah, that thing good. puts you back in the seat. You know what it's got? It's got some yank. It's got some That's yank. some yank. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's probably the most exciting thing to drive that we've built in some time. What do you think? What excuse can we come up with that David can't take it? We can just keep it. Hmm. Oh, we can just leave right now. Just drive. <laughs> Blue truck? What? Huh? Are you sure? 